Science is one of the enduring elements of humanity, and discoveries are being made every day that push us further and further into the future. Whether it be getting to the bottom of a phenomenon as old as the Earth itself, or uncovering tantalizing mysteries in outer space, nothing seems too daunting for scientists to tackle. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three interesting new discoveries and what they mean for the scientific field and for humans. Electromagnetic bursts in ground could predict earthquakes. It is possible to generate highly accurate predictions regarding weather by observing atmospheric patterns. One natural disaster from whom prediction remains much more elusive is the earthquake. Although it is generally understood which areas lie along fault lines and are therefore more prone to earthquakes, nailing down exactly when the crust will begin to shift and move has proven to be an altogether more complicated task. However, that might be changing in the very near future, as scientists begin to piece together and correlate underground readings with the occurrences of earthquakes. Seismologists, or those who study geophysics and the ways that seismic waves move through the Earth, have long been aware of underground electric fields and their tendency to produce small, hardly noticeable anomalies several weeks prior to an earthquake. They have been unable to determine what exactly causes these changes. It has often been proposed that understanding the cause could be a breakthrough in earthquake prediction, and new research has finally provided some potential answers. Recent analysis and study of these occurrences has led scientists to speculate that the electromagnetic bursts could be triggered by gas that is trapped and built up in what is known as a fault valve prior to an earthquake. The rock within Earth's crust at the fault creates an impermeable barrier to underground water, which causes electrified carbon dioxide and methane to break through as the pressure causes cracks in the valve. The research team tested their hypothesis in a customized lab setup, with promising results. As research continues, seismologists hope that they will be able to gather some insight about how measuring these electromagnetic bursts could lead to enhancing earthquake prediction measures. Currently, the first defense against earthquakes are the building materials and strategies used to resist the shifting movement of the Earth. Flexible steel that is built to bend and tilt with the forces applied during a quake is a common strategy especially in high-rises built in earthquake-prone areas. Adding metal supports within walls helps to keep structures supported and safely transmit pressure and other forces while building foundation anchors deep into the bedrock has also been shown to increase favorable outcomes during quakes. No building is truly earthquake-proof, and being able to have a heads-up as to when the next seismic plate activity will begin could be a huge step in defending against loss of life and property that unfortunately is rather common after a quake. Fire damage has been shown to be one of the most significant contributors to loss during an earthquake, and knowing when one was coming could allow for authorities to begin to prepare supplies and materials to prevent fires. Additionally, individuals could take shelter much sooner and could choose much safer areas than are typically available when surprised with an earthquake. The ability to use these electromagnetic bursts to hopefully begin to understand when earthquakes happen and what precedes this seismic activity could save an enormous number of lives, as well as prevent the large-scale destruction that is so common in the wake of an earthquake. Much more study is still needed. The current results are very promising and hopeful. Lunar Rover Discovers Mysterious Glass Spheres China's U-22 rover has been the force behind several recent discoveries regarding the dark side of the moon, and its latest find is especially intriguing. The mission, which was the first successful landing on the far side of the moon, has been to uncover hidden secrets kept by the far side of the moon by looking in depth at panoramic images captured by the rover, which was deposited in the moon's massive von Karman crater. One of these images, which proved especially interesting to researchers after they noticed two small, intact spheres made of what appeared to be translucent glass. 
The knowledge that glass spheres were discovered on the moon might alone be surprising information to some. The fact is that glass is not altogether uncommon on the lunar surface. The ingredients needed to create glass are rather simple, just silicate and high temperatures, and the moon has had a large amount of both throughout its lifetime. We know that the moon was the site of extensive volcanism in the past, as well as the location of intense heat generated by meteorites and other foreign bodies. Silicate, which is found all over the lunar surface, was subject to this volcanic activity and high temperatures, resulting in the large amount of glass pieces that can be found across the surface. So, if glass is not rare on the moon, why are these spheres of such interest to the researchers studying U22's images? The answer lies in what the glass can tell us about the history of the moon and the chemical reactions that have occurred. There is a chance that the volcanic activity that led to the other glass remnants also created these spheres. They do appear to be slightly different from other specimens that have been found. Of the previous specimens, any spheres that were discovered were almost microscopic and none measured over a millimeter compared to U22 spheres, which measure between 15 and 25 millimeters in diameter. They also range from transparent to semi-transparent with an interesting vitreous luster. But how did these strange orbs end up on the moon? One theory claims that the spheres are impact spheres, which are created even here on Earth when something hits the surface so forcefully that it generates enough heat to melt the crust. The melted pieces are projected into the air by the impact and cool into tiny glass beads. These beads are usually incredibly small, which likely rules impact out as a direct source of U22's glass spheres. The team studying the images and U22's analysis of their composition believe that they are likely created from a type of volcanic glass called anorthosite, which might have remelted due to the heat of an enormous impact and then cooled into the balls that the rover discovered. The team responsible for the research wrote, as the first discovery of macroscopic and translucent glass globules on the moon, this study predicts that such globules should be abundant across the lunar highland, providing promising sampling targets to reveal the early impact history of the moon. As research continues, hopefully we will begin to be able to peel back the layers of the moon's history and discover more about its formation and life through the millennia. This newly discovered galaxy is a space mystery. When it comes to space, there are a great many mysteries and very few things that can be considered certain. However, the newly discovered Alice 073.1 galaxy is one of the most interesting mysteries of them all, as it calls into question everything that scientists thought they knew about how galaxies are formed and created. The galaxy, which researchers have determined is rather young, has characteristics of a much, much older galaxy. Federico Lelli, lead author of the study analyzing Alice 073.1, described the phenomenon by claiming that the galaxy looks like a grown adult, but it should be just a little child. It contains both a rotating disk and a central bulge, and even has spiral arms that greatly resemble those of much more mature galaxies like our own Milky Way. Additionally, it is generating much larger amounts of energy than it should be, hinting at the possibility of an incredibly powerful supermassive black hole at the center. Structures like bulges, regular rotating disks, and possibly spiral arms must form in less than one billion years, which is a tall order for current models of galaxy formation, Lely said of the results. Old galaxies notably have tightly packed centers where stars are stacked close together due to the pull of gravity. Previously, it was believed that these bulges likely formed slowly over the course of the galaxy's life as smaller galaxies merged and collisions took place within the system. Alice 073.1 proves that this does not always have to be the case, as its bulge was formed rather quickly. This galaxy is lacking the chaos and unstructured energy that is not only typical but previously considered requisite for a galaxy of its age. 
These findings have forced researchers to reframe their previous ideas about how long it takes for hallmark elements of galactic formation to appear. To determine whether the strange composition of this galaxy is the exception or the norm for galaxy formation, researchers must now search out other bodies from similar time periods and stages as ALICE 073.1, analyzing them for comparable quick-forming features. Because of how long it takes for light to reach Earth in space, something that is billions of light years away, such as ALICE 073.1, can provide an incredibly valuable glimpse through time allowing us to see the universe as it was in its early days. Studies such as these can challenge our current theories and allow for the generation of new ones, so it remains to be seen how the discovery of this strange and mysterious new galaxy will ultimately impact our understanding of space and galactic formation. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.